Hi everyone, Hayden from Some Students here. And today, I got my PSP 1000 here. And today I'm going to show you, all you what I have on here. And actually everything I own for it. So let's get right into this. And I'll even show you there is nothing in the UMD slot. Because other than this one Family Guy DVD that has all these episodes on it. I actually own no UMDs. I did own some UMDs, but I decided to go all digital, so I have no use for them anymore. And all the games I do have on UMD, I have digital. So, let's get right into this. So I'm rocking the clownfish background. I really think it's a nice background. Now, let's... Get into this. So, there's one thing you may be surprised to hear about my PSP from me, and that is that it is modded. I don't really talk about modding that much, and you probably know I buy a lot of other games, but modding the PSP is so easy, and I was able to figure it out. So, that's actually why most of my games are digital, is because I modded this thing, and now I can just download them offline, so... See what do I got? So if it's all open, I have um, the Mame emulator. I actually haven't been able to get this to work. I mean, I have the emulator working, but I can't get any ROMs to work. Just having a hard time finding the right kind. So I have Vice, which is the Commodore 64 emulator. I only have a couple games that work on here. Yet again, hard to find games that work for me. So I have Resident Evil Director's Cut, Resident Evil 2, all five Namco museums, Pac-Man World, Spyro Year of the Dragon, Rayman, Toy Story 2, Toy Story Racers, Final Fantasy 7, I believe, Spyro 2, Crash Bandicoot 2, A Bug's Life, Crash Team Racing. Now, I haven't been able to get this to work yet, but a DS emulator, I forget what the, oh, it's called DS on PSP, beta, Doom, this actually, um, was a very early thing they got to work on here. I think it was the same year it came out, but I actually found a way to get all three of the Doom games on here. So, I actually haven't tested out two and three yet, but I have tested out the first one, and it works. Minecraft. Day of Dallas, which is a Nintendo 64 emulator for PSP. I actually have no idea what this one's called, but it's just a Atari 2600 emulator. Master Boy, which is a Game Boy Color Game Boy emulator. Nestor J, which is an NES emulator. Right here is the custom firmware installer, so I have LME Launcher and LME Installer. Uh, the... This looks like a Master System cartridge, but it's actually a Game Gear emulator. I think it can play Master System games, but I haven't been able to get that to work. With ROMs, I've tried. I have, um, I don't know what this is called, but it's a Super Nintendo emulator. Have Temp Game Boy Advance mod, which is a Game Boy Advance emulator. I have what I call the Sega Genesis emulator, but this is actually one of the few games I actually bought off the store before I hacked this thing, and I haven't been able to get the Sega Genesis emulator to work, which I actually did delete that a little while back, because I couldn't do anything with it, so I just used this. This Batman comic book on here that I got for free. Another one of a few games... I bought off the store, 
Pac-Man Championship World Edition. Championship Edition. I don't know why I thought it was World Edition. Crash of the Titans. Another game I actually paid for. Spyro the Dragon. Crash Bandicoot. Crash 3 Warped. I also paid for those too. And I actually bought those on my PS3 when I had the PS3. And they work on here too. So I thought that was cool. Like, you know, when I bought this, I'm like, oh, yeah, I get some free PS1 games. But, I mean, they weren't free because I paid $8 for them each on the system. But, you know, I didn't even know I was going to hack this thing when I bought it. Right. we got Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings. Lego Batman. Wally. SpongeBob SquarePants, The Yellow Avenger. Toy Story 3. Bomberman. I don't think there's like another title to it. I think it's just called Bomberman. Which is really weird because you'd think the first one would be called Bomberman, but I guess this one is. Uh, cars. Namco Museum Battle Collection. Spider Man 2. Lego Star Wars 2. Crash Tag Team Racing. Up. Crazy Taxi Fair Wars. Crash Mind Over Mutant. Daxter. The first game. Oh, no. Actually, sorry. The second PSP game I ever bought. First one I bought came with it. Family Guy. And that wasn't the thing I was talking about earlier. I'll show that in a little bit. Gran Turismo. Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Lego Indiana Jones. Secret Agent Clank. Star Wars Battlefront 2. The Simpsons. This was the first game I bought. But it came with it. But the first game I bought by choice was Daxter. I used to have both of these on UMDs, but once I hacked the thing, I could just download them, which was nice. Pinball Hall of Fame, the Gottlieb Collection. I think this is, uh, if you know me personally or saw some of my other YouTube videos, you would know for sure I'd have this game. Pinball Hall of Fame Williams Collection. And um, Tattoo Legends Power Up. So that is my PSP game library, and I can show you how many games I have by pressing the square button. So I have 42 PSP games, one mini, 20 PlayStation games, no PC Engine games, and no Neo Geo. And in total, I have no games with an, an expire date, so without expire date, I have 63 games, and that includes emulators, so I actually have more than 63 games, because this thing is filled with Game Boy Advance games, and NES games, and SNES games, it's got a couple Commodore games, no MAME games, I'm still working at that. So it's, this is just crazy how easy this thing is to hack. Now, I'm going to go into my video collection because I have a couple of those. So I have Cars 2, the game trailer. I don't know why I just downloaded that. We'll get back to those. Some other PSP promotional videos, I guess. But anyway, so this is you'd be really surprised but this is the full movie of finding nemo i it was really hard like really hard work but i figured out how to download finding nemo and i actually have the short that goes with it knickknack onto the psp So yeah, this is not a YouTube video, this is 
the full movie of Finding Nemo. Don't even ask me how I did it, because I forget, and it was really hard. I did it about a year ago. And, of course, like I said, I have the short film that went along with that. I download these at the same time. And, of course, as for Finding Nemo, I forget how to do it, but I wish I remembered so I could download a few more movies on here. And I'd have something to do on, like, long car trips and plane rides and other stuff like that. Just to show you it's not a YouTube video... I'll even go back. There was a mollusk and a sea cucumber. None of them were walking, so we could get them as well. So you... Here's another scene, too, that we like. Ooh, I love this scene right here. It's funny. <laughs> I don't know what I find funny about that. It's not even that the kid fell off, it's just that, like, Marlon's like, Oh, I, you should go play on the sponge beds, and then, like, the kid falls off. He's like, oh, yeah, I definitely play on those. Oh, also this scene. So anyway, another thing, if you, you know, if you press the square button... There's like a scene selection here. You can do like one minute, two minute. You can go up to five minutes. So like, yeah, this is not fake. If I could put a download link, if I could put a download link, I would, but I actually have no idea how to do that. And of course I got some music on there, but that's not like, that's easy to download. So next, let's get to my accessories. So really don't be expecting too much here, but um, I have a, I forget what this is, like some kind of USB cord that you plug into the top, like you do it like this. It's the same cord you use to charge the PS3 controllers. You just plug it in like that and you can plug it into the computer and, yeah, that's what I use to download games. Um, I also have a charger. This is actually a USB charger. Got it off Wish.com. And the last accessory is my carrying case. I actually found that at a Goodwill for like a dollar or something. And it's really held up well. Like, uh, yeah, as you can see, I have one UMD in there. It's that, it's that Family Guy one I was talking about. That, like, you can watch the... A couple. There's a couple Family Guy episodes on here. I actually have this one on DVD as well. But there's a UMD. And then, um, whenever I'm traveling and I don't have the white cord with me, I actually do have... A micro SD to SD adapter in here because my computer does not have a micro SD port but it has an SD port so I can just take out the memory stick and yes I do have one of those memory sticks like the ones like the it's not really in the greatest condition it kind of fell apart at one point but as you can see there's a micro SD card in there that's 64 gigabytes so, I can just take that out and put that in the micro SD adapter and it'll fit in my computer. Well, I thought that that was cool, but I probably do need another one of those. So yeah, that's really everything I own for the PSP except a couple UMDs, but they're, they were all games I would download on here in the first place. So I didn't really feel like I had to show those. It was just what I had before I hacked the system. Um, other than like a PS3 controller or a PS3, but I really wouldn't count those because like you can use the PS3. Like I think you can use this as a PS3 controller. But um, yeah, I think only the like the Go maybe has a PS3 controller compatibility. I don't really know.
though. But yeah, that's everything I own for this thing. I don't own much, but that custom firmware, you can do so much with this thing. Um, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.